My favorite pump of all time was the Cobalt MJ1200. I still own a few of them. Some of them have been working for over five years with no problems. But for the last two years, you couldn't find them anywhere. Well, then last week, this lovely care package arrived. And guess what? The MJ1200 is back with a new name. So I decided to count the ways that I currently use these pumps, 11. I use these pumps in 11 different ways. If you wanna just skip ahead to the 11 different ways that I currently use this pump, go to this time right here or just skip to the next chapter below. As far as my research can tell, we have to go all the way back to the 1970s when a company, Marineland, was founded. They started the Marineland Maxi Jet series. It was originally an Italian made pump. Well, sometime in the 2000s, they switched the manufacturing from Italy to China, and during that time, the quality went down. Fast forward to 2011, and a new company was founded by former Marineland employees, Cobalt. Now, I don't know why they were allowed to keep the name, but the Marineland MaxiJet was rebranded as the original MJ line, and they returned the manufacturing to Italy and the original Marineland design, which was higher quality. So through the 2010s, you have two pumps that are almost exactly the same with almost the exact same name. You had the Marineland MaxiJet series and you had the Cobalt MJ series with the Marineland now manufacturing in China and the Cobalt using the original Italian manufacturer. And if you read any reviews online, the Cobalt MJ1200 was definitely the higher quality of the two. Fast forward to 2020 and the Cobalt MJ line mysteriously disappears. There are pages and pages of this on Reef to Reef threads about why this happened. I'm guessing that the original Italian manufacturers decided to start selling it under their own label, thus cutting off Cobalt supply of the MJ pump. But that's just my suspicion, and until I hear back from Cobalt, I won't know for sure. So now enters the Italian company, Nua, which was founded in 1986. So what originally was the Maxi Jet line from Marineland became the Cobalt MJ line, and now we have it rebranded again as the Maxi Power line under the Nua brand. But Nua also founded a subsidiary company in China in 2019. So I'm just hoping that this Maxi Power is their original Italian made and not a cheaper Chinese knockoff version. But based on the packaging, it says made in Italy. So I'm gonna assume that this is exactly the same as the Cobalt MJ line. Nua makes all types of different pumps, but when talking about the small utility pump, they make two separate types with six different size options total. The Nua Mini line of pump has two options. It has the MN404, which has a maximum output of 404 liters per hour or 106 gallons per hour. There's also a larger size, the MN606, which puts out 606 liters per hour or 159 gallons per hour. Both of these pumps use one half inch inner dimension flexible tubing, so it's really easy to adapt it to whatever you need. The Nua Maxi Powerhead, which is the old Cobalt MJ series, has the same four sizes as previously made under Cobalt and Marineland. The thing about the Maxi Power line is that the bodies of the pumps are all the same size, so all you need is one half inch inner dimension flexible tubing to make any of this work. The MP400 puts out 106 gallons per hour, the MP600 puts out 160 gallons per hour. The MP900 puts out 230 gallons per hour. And the largest one, the MP1200, puts out 295 gallons per hour. Just for reference, all of these pumps put out the exact same flow rates as the previous Cobalt MJ line. Use number one, mixing salt water. I would just use the suction cups and either mount it to the side or the bottom of your trash can or bucket. My Cobalt MJ1200 has run for more than five years at this point with zero problems and minimal cleaning. Use number two, use it as an auto top-off pump. 
I would use the smaller version. So either the MP400 or the MN404 for this. Just pair it with something like the JBJ ATO or if you like a good DIY project, all you need to do is pick up a float switch, a relay, and you're off to the races. Use number three, detritus suspension or just extra flow. Place it on the bottom of a glass bottom tank or just add a bit of flow to any dead spots. I have found over the years that the MJ line of pumps was really good at helping me eliminate cyanobacteria by just pointing it right at it. The new Amaxi power line of pump will help keep your food and your waste suspended so that your mechanical filter can remove particulate matter before it breaks down into nitrates and phosphates. Use number four, use the Maxi Power pumps to clean your sump. The first is to use the pump head itself like a vacuum and to just put the one half inch flexible tubing either into a filter sock or into a bucket. The second option is to purchase this really inexpensive MJ vacuum pump attachment from Marine Depot. Use number five, use it as a return pump. Considering these newer pumps have a gallon per hour output from 106 gallons per hour to 295 gallons per hour, and the fact that I'm always looking for a return pump to turn over the entire water column about 10 times an hour, then maxi power heads are the perfect size return pump for nano tanks anywhere from five gallons to 30 gallons. Check this out. I've used this Cobalt MJ1200 on my 24 gallon reef tank for almost five years now. The sixth use, use it as a wave maker. You can keep it super simple and just hang the pump over the edge or use the suction cups. Or you can get fancy and purchase a separate controller like the high door wave maker and then actually use it in a pulsing manner just like a wave maker. Use number seven, it's a great bubble scrubber. Some hobbyists love to use a daily or weekly bubble scrub to help keep their live rock and their sand bed free of organic waste. Just use the Venturi attachment and the deflector nozzle and you have a bubble scrub. Use number eight, power a macroalgae refugium. It's perfect for either an HOB refugium or an in-sump refugium. My MD Elite Sump by Trigger System has a built-in compartment for a refugium. Use number nine, fill an auto top-off reservoir. I use another one of these pumps to take the messiness out of the weekly chore. Use number 10, power media reactors. I have used these pumps almost exclusively over the last eight years to power my various media reactors. My favorite is the NUA MP1200, but if you want or you need less flow for something like a GFO reactor, then one of the smaller pumps would make a great fit. And the 11th and final use, water changes. The NUA MP1200 has almost six feet of head pressure, so it's the perfect pump to add fresh salt water into your aquarium. Links to the entire line of NUA pumps are below, and if you found this video useful or helpful in any ways, please consider subscribing, liking, and turning on those notifications. We'll see you next time. Happy reefing, everybody.